Today we're going to be talking about a really efficient carry called a wheelbarrow carry. It's probably the most efficient carry I've ever tried. Uh, sometimes people say, oh, that looks great, but you couldn't really use that if somebody had an unstable spine injury. So I agree. This is for a fairly stable patient, somebody with altitude illness, somebody maybe they've sprained their ankle, they're still with the program, they're still able to assist in their rescue. But in that kind of scenario, when you have three rescuers, in my experience, nothing beats this wheelbarrow carry. Today we're going to ask Kaylee to be our victim, and I'll show you how to do this rescue. So let's get, uh, in this case, I'd, I'd probably get Nick and Lars back here, and just face this direction. Good. And uh, you're going to be the victim, so I want you to put your hands over these guys' neck. Now again, she is conscious. She has severe altitude illness, whatever. So she's still with the program, able to follow commands, and we're going to get Ari in here. Now, one thing that Ari could do, if she was like the Incredible Hulk, she could literally come from behind and up through Kaylee's legs and stand up, but that's really hard. So it usually helps if somebody can just assist, and we'll get Kaylee, you stand right here, you're going to actually wear Kaylee like a backpack. We're going to get her legs up over your shoulders. So Ari doesn't need to stand up straight. If she does that, it puts a little bit more weight on the rescuers. She can also hunch over a little bit, take more of Kaylee's weight, and that puts a little bit less weight on the rescuers. So it just depends on who's strongest. So why don't you guys try moving ahead. 